here are the, here are the vitamin mineral mixes that you are going to use and you're going to use them safely. Learn these. These are the ones you're going to use. Yes, there are many people who do different Myers cocktail. I'm going to give you the ones that are safe. They're easy, they're quick to do, and your staff can put them together fairly quickly. Myers cocktail number one. Uh, five grams of vitamin C, 5,000 milligrams. I suggest when you buy vitamin C, you buy the kind that is beet, B-E-E-T, derived, not corn derived. You heard about allergies with it before. You might as well use the best for 10 cents more a bottle or 20 cents. It's worth it. Magnesium chloride, 3 mLs. How many, how many milligrams did I just put in there? If you have 10% magular, 600 milligrams, thank you. Glassium glycerin phosphate, I told you, if you don't want to get, you can leave this out and substitute this for calcium gluconate and do the same. It's okay. B6, 1 mL, that's 100 milligrams. Dexpanthenol, 1 mL, which is 250 milligrams. B complex, which I told you we make up at 200, 100 milligrams each. Forget the iota pen, you can't get it any longer. Did you get that? Because you have to correct the slide so you have it right. Myers cocktail number two, you can do this too, safely. B complex of 100 milligrams to 400 micrograms of selenium. How many micrograms of selenium do you feel safe that I tell you is safe to use? Give me a number. That's it, no more than, no, by IV 400, your top normal. Dexpanthenol 500 milligrams, mag sulfate one gram. How many cc's is that? Of, of a 50% solution, how many cc's? You need to know this cold, folks. How many cc's? Two cc's, that's right. Hydrochloric acid, two milligrams for, or five mLs of, of, of the two milligrams or ml, five grams of vitamin C again, a thousand of B12. Which B12 you put in a Myers cocktail if someone has a URI? This is an acute treatment. What are you going to use? Which one? Methylcobalamin or hydroxo or cyanocobalamin? Which one? Hydroxo, because, you're going to, because when you're sick, you have ex increased oxidative stress. That's what you want to use. And saline, 125 milliliters. You put it in a saline bag. You can add AMP no longer. Take that off. But if it's a virus and you're sure, you can add glyceriza, 2 mLs, and or together 100 milligrams of germanium. Note, Myers cocktails of 125 cc's give over 30 to 45 minutes. When you're not adept at this, give it over 45 minutes. Get used to it. Get to feel what it feels like. This is a great thing to use. It's quick. Best use is. URIs, acute viral infections, uh, herpes zoster outbreak. I'm giving you a whole bunch of things you can use it for. Um, as an in-between for someone who just traveled, they're exhausted, they just got back, you're tired, you've been on jet lag, came from Taiwan like doctor did here, you came from South Africa like our physician over here. This would be a great quick IV for them just to give them a quick boost. You can use it for that too. Myers cocktail W number three with white blood cell stimulation. What causes the white blood cell stimulation is this. The hydrochloric acid, two milligrams, five mLs. B12, again, you're gonna use the hydroxocobalamin, 0.5, which um, B, B complex, 0.5, B5, dexpanthyl, 250 milligrams, mag sulfate, half a gram. How many cc's is that? 500 milligrams is one cc. Okay, vitamin C, one gram. This is a short one. It's only total, if you add it up, 10 mLs. You can push this over 10 minutes. The truth of it is you can push it in five minutes. I tell you 10 just to keep you safe. Why did I say don't infiltrate this? Exactly, because the HCL is going to cause a severe, you know, uh, a severe inflammation. And if not, it's going to cause a, a phlebitis. Yes. Yes. This is, a, this is a real brief one. This is a fast one. You really want to get in, get out. You want to give your patient something. Put it in, uh, put one of those um, uh, connectors, put the, like the cath in, put the, the IV salute, the syringe on the back of it, aspirate, slowly give. Are the other, were the other two also, um, and 125 cc's in mLs. They're a 30 minute, 45 minute. This is the fastest one. I gave you, to give you a little vers versatility without creating any safety issues, I'm giving you some versatility. Okay, a 39-year-old female receiving a multivitamin mineral. This is a true one, just happened last week. An IV, secondary to URI. Happens to be actually my oldest daughter. 30 minutes of infusion develops a red streak above the IV site. So if the IV was in here, she got a red streak up here. What's your immediate and long-term treatment protocol? Think about this. Suddenly you have a streak. You put the IV here, let's say, 
and there's a streak which he did have over here. What do you do? What happened? Basoconstrict. What else? Irritation of the vein, perhaps. What is this? Do you know what the? What's it? Give me a diagnosis. Yeah, it's a chemical phlebitis. This is from either a too hypertonic of a solution, perhaps given too quickly. She was dehydrated. She hadn't drank fluids for a couple of days. This is when you're going to see a chemical phlebitis. It's common. This is a common side effect you're going to see. So how will you treat this common side effect? What are you going to do? Hydrate immediately, start hydrating immediately, slow this down, increase the amount of fluids. What else can you do to prevent this for next week? Because she's going to come maybe next week for another IV. What, more hydrated, absolutely correct. De decrease the concentration, move quicker. What else can you do to condition her veins other than water? What is it? Electrolytes, okay. There's one thing that's really terrific for conditioning the veins, and if you learn to get it in your office, it works all the time, and one week later, you don't have problems with it ever again. Just get, the, get a bottle of Alex what? What? The bioflavonoids, root and hesperidin. And if you don't have any, tell the pay other patient has the, the bioflavonoids. Hesperidin complex, root and complex. It actually really makes a marked difference. You'll be able to do the patient again in a week. Hydrate and give them that. <clears throat> if you don't have any, what's that? By mouth. Yeah, you send them by mouth. Put them on one or two, three, four times a day for a week or two. It really makes a difference. And if you don't get them, how can you give it them from foods? Do you know where you get where you can get them? Yes, biz Mexican. Go. Yeah, the peel of the orange, the white of the orange. Tell them they eat the white part of the orange. Absolutely, exactly. That's what you want to do, and it works very, very well. You're going to. This is the one of the most common things is causing a chemical phlebitis. A chemical phlebitis happens instantly. Guess what? What happened after you slowed it down, hydrated her, and gave it to her? Disappeared in what, 15 minutes out? Almost immediately. All right. General vitamin mineral, learn this one. This we can use. This is a great one for you to use. Let's go through it. Magnesium chloride, two grams. Procaine, five mLs. Vitamin C, 50 grams, which is usually 100 mLs. 500 per cc, by the way. That's how you're going to buy it. Buy it in 100 cc bottles. Uh, Multi-mineral complex, one mL. B complex, two mLs. B dexpanthenol, one gram. Calcium chloride gluconate, one gram. It's not spelled right, but you get the idea. In 500 mLs of sterile water. Is this hypotonic? No. It's not because of two things, as you heard earlier. Vitamin C and the mag chloride, especially the vitamin C. Is this hypertonic? Yes, it is. And it's nowhere near 310. It's probably somewhere around 14 to 1500. So the answer to this, can you safely give a general vitamin mineral repletion like this? Yes, and you can give it safe if you just never go less in your first time for the first 500 cases, never go less than two and a half hours. You can do this in two. What, what do you normally get it in? You know, my Brazilian nurse says an hour and a half. Yeah, because she's Brazilian. She stuffs it through their nose and up their rear and she gets it done right away. But normally, what are you doing in oh, two hours? You'll two hours, in, never shorter than two hours because you'll run into all the other side effects we talked about earlier today. But two, two and a half hours, very safe. Most people could take it. If they're, they get any headache, you back it way off, hydrate them and wait. But for 99% of the time, you're going to be able to safely do this for a lot of different about problems, including people with inflammatory CPK elevations, et cetera. Yes? Is it for you or for your friend? <laughs> for you, 1999. For your friend, let me tell you what it costs to make it. And then you tell me. It's good to talk about economics. It's okay. We can do that. This whole thing cost me $35. What are you going to charge? What do you say? $75? Ah. Uh, so what are you going to charge? Well, how much? Yeah. You have, you, it's your job. It's your brains. It's your thing. What I charge is for something like this, 100, between $100 and $120. That's a fair deal. That's fair. If you stay 100, 125, it's very fair. 